Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Morning Report. The Morning Report is a production of FightBackMedia.com, 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 and FightBackMediaTV.com. Trust that you are well this wonderful Friday. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. You made it. You did it. Congratulations. You made it, and at this point, you are not locked up. You made it. All right. Um, we remember when... Um, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, or set it aside, or whatever they did. Uh, you remember how we thought that something happened, right? There was seemed to be some sort of some sort of leak uh, weeks before uh, from the Supreme Court, and um, I don't think anybody's gone to jail for that at this point. If I'm wrong, write it in the comments. Uh, but earlier this week. This is a timing thing. Uh, President Biden signed an executive order giving amnesty to 500,000 illegal immigrants married to American citizens. Now we've all all, all heard that that you know that when people want to get in, so they just marry an American so you can stay in the country, right? We've seen that a lot. Um, the The move was sold as a family unification. Anyway. Uh, Press Secretary um, Corrine Jean-Pierre had a hard time explaining um, the thinking behind the move or how Biden came up uh, with the details for the order. I mean, she, she just rambled like she normally does about, you know, we need to, tr this is piecemeal, we need to try to pull this together, Congress needs to act, and then she took a swipe at President Trump, which is how she's been doing her job lately. Because uh, although she's not part of the campaign, She's part of the campaign. But after the Supreme Court ruled on last Friday in the Department of State versus Munez that the U.S. is not required to admit non-citizen spouses of, the, of American citizens, the, federal, the Federalist, Sean Davis, has some questions. From his post on X about the ruling and suspicious timing of the Biden executive order, is there a new leaker, he asks, is there a new leaker at the Supreme Court just days ago the Biden regime announced a radical new executive order to legalize immigrant spouses of citizens, even if those immigrants were in the U.S. to commit crimes over here illegally. It's very strange timing for just an oddly specific executive order. Now we know why. The Supreme Court ruled on Friday in a 6-3 decision that the U.S. is not required to admit immigrant spouses of American citizens in a case involving an MS-13 member whose spouse was a U.S. citizen and who demanded legalization. From this nation's beginning, the admission of non-citizens into this country was characterized as a favor and not a right, the court ruled. Somebody in the White House was clearly tipped off about the um, unannounced Supreme Court decision, which explains why the White House rushed out such a shoddily written and argued new executive order and to, to open the border even more. The Biden regime knew that the Supreme Court was about to rule, and it sought to preempt the court with this absurd executive order. So the question is, who exactly is leaking information on rulings to the Biden White House? So after an internal investigation of the person who leaked the Dobbs decision onto the media in May of 2022, I refer to easier, that person was never named. We, and, we're just, and we're just pretending that none of that ever happened. I am not going to tell you to vote for. But I will tell you what to vote against. This. You got to vote against this. You know, a long time ago, I had a conversation with Ned Ryan, and <clears throat> when he was doing American Majority and doing uh, election training around the country, and he said this at one of the meetings I attended that you know, politics is policy. It's policy, because the people that you elect will get to set policy. Duh. But we always get caught up in personality. And we just stay there like um, like middle school kids. I don't give a rat's butt if Joe Biden is a doddering old man. 
That ain't the problem with Joe Biden, that he's a doddering old man. The problem is that he is putting out executive orders like this. That's the problem. So this Munez, this spouse of it, who is in, the, I mean, in MS-13, now can be legally let in the country. On top of the, of the half a million other people. And you get caught up in personality? You get caught up in Trump's a jerk? Well, yeah, probably. And Joe Biden's a doddering old man? Yes, I know that. So I, I want to stop watching videos of him looking in the space. I don't care. I just don't care. And frankly, you shouldn't either. Because that's not the worst part about it, any of this. And that cackling laugh of, of Kamala Harris? Who gives a rat's butt? Who cares? That's not the worst part of Kamala Harris. You know, the, the word salad speeches, that's hardly the worst part. Concentrate on the stuff that matters. Concentrate on the stuff that matters. My name is Willie Lawson. This is the Ben the Mona Report for Friday, June the 21st. Do we see you again? Go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sake, I'll take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.